Warning, this creepy pasta is a made up scary story for entertainment only. Don't believe it as a real thing. Viewer discretion is advised. I was not born when they were released, but in 1998, Subway teamed up with Nick Jr. to promote toys for blue screws for both birthday and pajama party. Sadly, I didn't get the chance to get them. I was at a Subway restaurant for lunch. The food I wanted most there was their pizza. Yes, Subway sells pizza. As I was eating at the table, I noticed something on the seat cracks of the restaurant chairs. It was a Subway DVD. The cover consists blue on the cover right by the Subway sign under it, under it that says, Eat Fresh, as their slogan, with the Nick Jr. DVD logo right by it. This gives me vibes to the Toy Story McDonald's DVD that Rohan discovered a few months ago. I'm curious of why this wasn't shown on the air to the little kids. So I took it home with me and see it for myself. When I got home, I put in the DVD in my PlayStation 4 and it started. It began with the Paramount logo and, Nick, and the Nick Jr. board game bumper. Then it showed the DVD menu. The menu consisted of many selections such as play, visit Nick Jr. and subway.com, scene selections, and trailers. The music is the end credits theme they play at the end of every episode. The trailer sex selection has trailers for six new junior shows, Blue's Big Musical, and for new shows like The Wonder Pants and Go Diego Go. I hit it play on my controller and then a warning came up on the screen. This trailer is a promotion, a promotion for Blue's Big Pajama Party but it is not made for the younger audience. Viewer discretion is advised. I got a bad feeling about this, I said to myself. It started with the subway restaurant at night. No music, only night sounds. But the silence was broken when a skidoo sound can be heard, heard and then Blue, Mr. Salt, Periwinkle, Tickety, and Slippery came on screen. So why are we in this restaurant again? asked Periwinkle. Mr. Salt explained why they are here. I... I have just found out that some of our friends have been kidnapped in there. And it's up to us to le help rescue them, he explained. I do hope they are okay in there, replied Tiggity. The gang then went to, su went to the subway restaurant, but unfortunately the doors were locked. But just then, an idea ball landed under Periwinkle. I can create a portal that will take us inside the restaurant, said Periwinkle as he pulled out his wand. He then waved it up and down and he said the words, Perry Focus Ocus Crocus, and the portal opened that led through the subway. Well done, Periwinkle! Come on, guys, we got some friends to save, said Mr. Salt. The four characters walked in the restaurant as it was dark and the portal closed. They they then start looking for their kidnapped friends. Side table drawer, whispered Tiggity. Shovel, whispered Slippery. Pale, whispered Periwinkle. Bow bow, barked Blue quietly from Magenta. Mailbox, whispered Mr. Salt. But as they were looking for them, they heard an evil laughter. Listen, said, listen, said Mr. Salt, as they all put their hands on their ears as they listened. I, I hear it too, said Slippery. What if it was that monster that looked like a cake, said Tickety. Is she referring to that creature from the episode What is Blue's Dream About? where it was in Sleeping Beauty's dream? They all kept walking until Blue spotted something. It was a light switch, and Blue switched it on, having a beam of light shown on a corner. There, there stood shovel, pail, side table drawer, and mailbox. Oh, Blue, guys, thank goodness you found us, said Shovel happily. 
quite quiet, Shovel. There could be someone with us, whispered Slippery. Oh, sorry, whispered Shovel. How did you find us? Asked Mailbox. Well, well, we heard that Steve took you guys to the city and he mentioned about this restaurant that sells sandwiches was near it. So we had to get you before or you made harm, said Mr. Salt. Oh, oh, that's a good thing you came. I, I want to eat a sandwich, not become one, Sidey Will George said panically. Particularly, we ensure Sidey Will that it will be okay. Don't worry, Sidey Will. We are not letting whoever did this to you guys do something bad. Cause I'm, I'm sure they won't, but Tiggity's sentence was interrupted by the evil chuckle from last time. There's, there's that laugh again. Who is in here with us? Shovel asked. Just then, a green puppy came out from the shadows. It was a green, like green puppy. It has yellow spots and it has su and it has a subway symbol on its skin, skin, similar on where the cue marks are in in My Little Pony would be on. Who's who's that? One of Blue's friends? Melbars asked. Blue didn't know who that puppy is. The puppy started to speak in the voice of Jack Samson, who voiced Rintu in Nihau Kailan. Why, hello, guys, said the puppy. What do, you, what do you want with our friends? Perigold confronted. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that magician cat. You see, the sandwiches need more ingredients for the humans to eat every day. And I mean every day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and midnight snack. And I saw those guys who are with that green striped shirted man, and I thought they would be perfect for, to be on the menu. The puppy said, Please, please spare them, puppy. This isn't right for, for them to become food to eat it, yelled, parent, you, yelled Pale. Well, too bad. Without you... You peasants in here, nobody will eat here anymore. So let me take care of you all nice and slowly. Starting with them, the puppy said. He brings out a freeze ray and freezes Mailbox's extendo arm, having him bodiless. He places him in the oven, having him burned into deep crisp as Mailbox screamed. Hmm, you know, I'm in the mood for a Clockaroni pizza, said the puppy. He grabbed grabbed Tiggy as he put a cheese and a pepperoni on top on top, and it wrapped her inside the dough. As he put it her in the oven, you can hear bloody screams of Tiggy inside. You kitty cannot come in with me, the, pu the puppy said. As he grabbed Periwinkle. He took him inside the kitchen where he where he took him to the meat the meat cutter section where he grabbed a knife and cut a periwinkle into six pieces. Perfect, fresh cat meat. The puppy then put it in the counter for later. I think this meat can use a little salt. The puppy said. He grabbed Mr. Salt and he started to pour on him in a, another salt shaker that is in real life, causing Mr. Salt to die in vain. Hmm, we can use new tables for our subway, he said. He looked at Sidey with drawer. Uh, uh, why are you looking at me? Sidey would said nervously. The puppy then grabbed an axe and chopped side table into pieces, leaving only the table part. He then grabbed shovel, pail, and magenta and locked them in the meat freezer where, where they freeze to death. Looks like our microwave needs a little cleaning, said the, uh, the puppy as he grabbed Slippery. He put him in the microwave as he started to melt having the microwave filled with bubbles. 
Now, what to do with you, blue puppy? He said. He thinked really hard on how he is, he's gonna kill blue. Aha! Uh -huh, he pounded. I got a special killing away for you, he said as he grabbed blue and went outside. He then put it blue on the middle of the street, tapping, taping him, taping up like a person. Person gets tied up in the middle of the railroad tracks. And now, my blue friend, you're gonna be my road kill meat," he said, laughing evilly. Blue tried to struggle to get herself out, but the tape was too strong. Just then, a car that looked like a Lamborghini speeded toward Blue, killing her with blood splattered all over the street. The puppy grabbed the fishing rod and cast the dead body of Blue to him as he put her in the meat grinder, turning her into meat. Perfect. Now the customers will be very pleased with the new food, said the puppy as he rubbed his hands together with an evil grin on his face. Then the end credits started to play, but as the credits roll, we see we see the dead the pics of the blues of blues friends like mailbox cooked in the oven, tickety tock turning to pizza, periwinkle meat grinded, shovel pail and magenta's frozen bodies, side tables drawer chopped up body, Mr. Salt's empty shaker, Slippery's melted body, and blues roadkill body. The music they played was the end credits scene slowed down and creepy sounded. As the credits ended, there was a post credit scene. A familiar face walked on the screen. It was none other than Steve, the Blue Screws host. He was looking around and wondering where Blue and the re rest were. Where is everyone? One, Steve said. The, s the screen zoomed into the and the puppy grinning evilly as the sub as the subway Eat Fresh logo appeared alongside a suspense Blue Screws music cue playing in the background. And then text po popped up of the screen saying animated by George Orts in 1998. George I knew he was behind all this. He he has gone way too far or this time. I showed this to all my friends and they felt their they felt their childhood trust on on what they saw. George Orts is known for ruining Nick Jr. and Nickelodeon shows. Who knows what worse things he could make next.